In order for you to be able to predict if some of these steps are actually going to occur, you're going to need an understanding of the stability of the products. So carbocations are compounds in which a carbon is bearing a positive charge. That carbon only has a total of three bonds and not four, so it is inherently unstable. But we have different classes of carbocations, and they have different levels of stability. So a methyl carbocation, the carbon with the positive charge, is not bonded directly to any other carbons. This is the most unstable. This is not going to form. However, if the carbon bearing the positive charge is bonded to other carbons, that starts to increase its stability. So a primary carbocation is one in which the carbon with the positive charge is bonded directly to one other carbon. It's more stable than methyl, but still not stable enough to actually form in most cases. A secondary carbocation, carbon with a positive charge, is bonded directly to two other carbons. This is more stable than the previous two. We are finally stable enough that in a lot of cases, you would be able to predict that this could actually form. And a tertiary carbocation, the carbon with the positive charge, is bonded directly to three other carbons. This is the most stable out of all of these, so this is something that can actually form.